Nessel from Create with Cynthia and welcome to Home Talk. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take a plastic pot and make it look like a clay pot with molds. So the molds, the air dry clay, all of the products that you need are in the material list. Just click on that and you can go over and shop. So what you're going to do is you're going to start out by kind of seasoning your mold. I have a little cornstarch and a chip brush here, and I'm going to just put some of the cornstarch into the mold. This is an optional part of the process. It helps to lift the clay out of the mold. You don't want to put too much of the um, cornstarch in the mold. You just kind of want to season it. And after you've added the cornstarch in, just dump it out like this. So I'm in the comment section with you and please leave a message and tell me where you're, where you're viewing from. So I'm taking a piece of my air dry clay. I just used this scraper to grab a piece of it off and I'm going to roll the clay. Don't overwork it because it will get hard if you do. And then I'm just going to set it in the mold, kind of hold it down with one hand and then push it into the mold with the other hand. Then I'm going to take my scraper and I'm going to scrape it by holding it. There's a micro rim around the edge of the mold. IOD has patented the micro rim and it helps you to scrape because you want the molds to be flat on the back. Okay, so I'm going to do the next one. My suggestion with this project is make as many molds as you can first. The molds start to dry in about an hour. So you have a good amount of time to make all of your molds before you glue them onto your pot. Okay, now to get your mold, your clay out of the mold, what you're gonna do is just let gravity work with you. So I just kind of pop it upside down like that. And the cornstarch, like I said, really helps to get them out. There you go. Okay, so once you have all your molds made, you can just take this and put it in the sink with some soapy water, warm soapy water, and wash it up. Very easy to wash. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna figure out where you wanna place your molds on your pot. I would suggest using the tight bond and um, a little bit of hot glue from a glue gun because when you're working on a vertical surface like this the molds are going to slip down now you can use a frog tape to hold them in place but i found the best way was to take my mold i just add a really good amount of glue on the back this is the tight bond glue and then i put the glue gun glue right smack in the middle and then I'm just going to hold it on. I'm not pushing really hard, I'm just kind of pushing lightly so that the glue, the hot glue can adhere to the pot. And um, remember this clay is going to crack a little bit. It's very common as it dries, it cracks and it becomes like clay, like looking old and antique, which is kind of pretty. I'm going to do a leaf next. So first I like to add my tight bond all the way around it. You want the glue to be all over your piece of clay. In fact, you could even use a chip brush um, if you wanted. You do want to make sure that it gets everywhere. Now after we've added all of our molds to our pot, then we are going to paint the pot. Now I have allowed my molds to dry overnight. This is what the pot will look like once you've allowed the mold to dry overnight. It's optional. If you want to paint the mold after the glue has dried, you can. Just be careful that you don't push too hard on the mold because you will destroy some of the beautiful detailing of the mold as you can see. So what I did is I painted my pot. I turned it upside down and I gave it two coats of the faded burlap by DIY Paint. 
I like to use DIY paint. It's a clay chalk based paint. It's very thick in consistency. It adheres to any surface. So these plastic pots didn't need any prepping. I just put the paint on there. So I did two coats of it upside down. Then I turned the pot right side up and I did two coats and I also got inside the lip here. I picked these up at the dollar store. They're in the material list above if you'd like to purchase them yourself. Now, I believe that in order to really make this pot look like a clay pot, what you want to add next is wax. So I've got a couple of different um, colors of wax here. I've got a, so I've got a clear wax and I've got a white wax and I've also got a black wax. Now, when you're using waxes, it's really best to start with clear because um, if you start with a dark wax on paint, it's just going to suck in the darkness of and it's going to totally change the color of your paint. So I've got a chip brush here. I'm just going to go in with some wax and I'm just going to paint it on. I'm just going to paint the, um, the wax onto the image. I'm kind of going in a circular motion. I'm trying to get into all of those nooks and crannies that are on the mold. They are, they've been glued onto the pot and they are not going anywhere. This is a clear wax here that I'm using. Looks a little white, but I like that. What's nice about the wax, and it gets into all of the little crevices of the mold, and then it makes it look, I think, more old and antique -y. Okay, so I'm going to go over the top with a little bit of the black wax. You can use a dark or a black color wax. I just put some on my chip brush here like this, and then I'm just going to go over it. Don't be alarmed. I know it looks dark, but we're going to wipe most of it off. I'm trying to just get it into those nooks and crannies. And you'll see what I'm talking about, how if you get the wax into the nooks and crannies of the mold, then it really makes the mold pop. And dark wax, you can, you can really manipulate it. So if you get too much, you can just kind of pull it off with the white or clear wax on top of it. So don't worry about that. You just don't want to keep it on there for a long time. So I have a different rag for my dark wax, and now I'm just going to wipe it off. And see how some of it stays in the nooks and crannies of the flower? Kind of create more dimension. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how my pots turned out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some plants into these pots and I'm going to show you how I decorate them in my home. Now I'm out here on my patio and I'm just really enjoying the way that my pots turned out. I hope you've enjoyed this video turning a plastic pot into something that looks like a clay pot. Don't forget to follow me on Home Talk TV and you can pop on over to my website createwithcynthia.com and check out my YouTube channel. Now I'll see you in the next video. Go out there and create something. Thank you.